Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Real Talk with SLR. How are you guys doing today? Well, y'all, we are on the road. We're headed into town today because we got to handle some business. Yep. Such as registering the new wheels. Mm-hmm. I think we're going to start calling her Tiny. I think so. Yeah. Got to get got to get Tiny registered. Yeah, we got to get Tiny registered, guys. Got to play it on it. <laughs> yeah, it's about that time. Um, it's like today's like our last day to do it. And it's not that we've been putting it off, but we've kind of been putting it off. We've just been busy. It's... Yeah, we've just uh, got a lot to do. Yes. You know, and it's we don't get to uh, to town that often. Um, I know but, you did go yesterday, but I gotta go. Yeah. You know, yeah. I was gonna take Biggie into town to get the trash out of the back of it and everything else like that, um, yeah. and get the tires put on there because we're getting new ones. Yeah. And uh, they didn't have any in stock, so. Yeah, tires for Biggie will come <laughs> on Monday. I was like, eh, I'll wait to take that guy to town well, on you, Monday. You still went to town yesterday. No, I did. You went to the P.O. Box, which, no. um, thank you guys for sending us some stuff. You guys never have to. Um, we never ask for you guys to, but it is cool when you guys do. We'll be op- we haven't even opened any of it yet. We will be opening it um, probably tomorrow with you guys. But there's a bunch of Christmas cards in there. That's how long it's been since... Uh, we went to the P.O. box. There's Christmas cards in there. There was a couple of, uh, of boxes, but again, we haven't gone through any of it yet. So um, here's a preliminary. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> We've just been very busy. Um, but yeah, today we got to go handle business, got to go and get this thing taken care of. Yep. And then I got to rush my butt back because I still have editing to do so that way you guys will have a awesome video and mm-hmm. the suspense can be over and you guys can see all we accomplished. Yep. Yeah. That's partly why I went to town yesterday so I can get a lot of the uh, really odd ball ones. I had to go all the way out to Fort Smith. So mm-hmm. I was like, well, I might as well go and do that today and get that done. So when we go tomorrow, we're not having to run all over and ruin a whole day. Yeah. Which I came back pretty early yesterday. No, you did. You got back before the kids came home and mm-hmm. I got a lot of the domestics handled yesterday, so the house is all reset and ready for us to, to keep going forward. Yeah. Kind of sucks we got to go into town today. I want to just focus and um, handle the the computer work, but this stuff has to be done. It's got to get done. Yeah, it has to be done. I'll be able to, when we get home, I'm going to start organizing and getting things prepped and ready for the next task that we are going to be uh, accomplishing yeah so i'm super happy oh yeah oh, it's yeah. just uh it's a lot of work either which way you got a lot of work on the computer i got a lot of prep to do yep <laughs> yep 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 <laughs> oh it's exciting times though yes yesterday we had a really crazy lightning and uh man it was crazy last night there was a lightning storm going through it was just almost seizure inducing with how many flashes so quickly yeah the the sky was uh electrified like no tomorrow (laughs) it was uh it wasn't really hitting down on the ground it was just shooting across yeah back and forth back and forth it was like holy moly i don't really want to stand outside right now (laughs) and we were of course like biting our nails and holding tight like oh i hope everything is fine Mm -hmm. up there and it was everything's good everything was golden yeah we had uh, 60 mile an hour winds um nothing got moved around minus uh the ladder that i I had standing up on top (laughs) it did blow over (laughs) there was one thing that blew over we had yeah the aluminum ladder that we had up there so we can reach the high spots and stuff um i heard we heard it last night and i was like uh, well, that wasn't too loud, was, so I yeah. know it wasn't, you know, like a wall. So, yeah, yeah, it was pretty funny, though. We were all sitting there just like... And I was <laughs> I was biting my nails with everything else because it was calling, just me, being me. I hopped onto the weather. I was like, all right, what is it? What is this going to do? What, what's going on? And it was calling for uh, golf, uh, golf ball size hail. Yeah. And 60 mile an hour winds. And I was like, uh, okay, I hope everything will be all right yeah but But it was and our chickens were good everybody's mm -hmm. good um that little coop that we got it really kicks butt yeah it does that thing's a sturdy 
little son of a gun. It is. It's sturdy. It is smaller, so we've had uh, lots of questions, comments, concerns, so we'll address some of those today on the yeah. road. Um, we hear you guys. We appreciate you guys so, so much. Y'all are the sweetest. Um, you bring up some very good points, although these are things that we have thought of. Yes. So one of the points that was brought up was, um, you know, now that we have chickens, you know, the predators are going to be coming and we need to, um, you know, put wire on the ground so that way nothing can dig yep. in there. And, um, you know, we need to stake it down so that way the wind doesn't catch it like a sail and blow off with it. Mm -hmm. So the first thing is the, uh, the predators. We'll address that. So yes, we are going to want to, uh, put some wire or something down on the ground. Yes. But as of right now, today, we do have a bunch of dogs on the property and I'm not saying that the dogs wouldn't, you know, be a predator for the chickens because <laughs> that is a possibility too. But as yes. of right now, um, and today the dogs kind of like actually watch out for the chickens. Yeah. They're not really bothering them at all. The only time that our dogs ever go over there really and investigate, um, that I've seen is when we're walking over there, then the dogs are like, where are we going? What are we doing? Mm -hmm. You know, and then they want to go over there. I have seen um, them go down there and play on that last tier, but they're not tormenting them. Yeah. They're not just sitting there. Yeah. Um, they're running by them, not, yeah. not really caring that they're there. Mm -mm. But, but they're, they're making sure that, you know, all the squirrels and other birds are getting away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. But that's, uh, I mean, the dogs are doing their jobs yes. in the sense of protecting from uh, all predators, mm -hmm. even bears. Because yeah. uh, we've seen the dogs uh, running off bears and Especially everything. Especially that uh, Mora. That Mora, man. <laughs> Anthony and Roxanne's dog, Mora. Fearless, that one. Fearless. <laughs> uh, it's pretty funny. Yeah, there um, was, when we were camping, Camp Life ended up, there was a bear in a tree by the camp. Yeah. And uh, Mora was barking and going nuts at it so it slid down the tree and then ran off into the forest and then Mora ran and chased it off too I was like man Mora don't want you to get hurt but no. you know she's doing her job it was pretty funny she was doing her job but I mean that's uh that's one thing the other thing to me is are we a hundred percent sure that that's where it is I would hate to do all this work and digging it down and putting in the fencing right there so that way nothing can get dig in there mm -hmm. as well as stake it in if we're gonna move it right that would be I don't know I'm that extra I'm, work yes yeah I'm that type of person where it's like no I don't really want to do that at 100% right now god this guy um, needs to get off my booty yeah go but, around <laughs> you're going up a hill you can't go around right now well then he's just get off my booty <laughs> a little he'll bit he'll go around and around at the next one it's all right um but yeah no it's uh that's the one thing that I'm thinking about. It's so far, it looks like it's fine. It, I might want to tweak it just a little bit because I, I think it might be a little crooked. Orientation, you mean? Like a, the direction wise. you want it to be yeah. pointing? Yeah, I want yeah. To, I might want to tweak it just a tad. Yeah. Because it looks a little crooked, but. So, and this coop is working out really well for us so far, guys. This is our starter uh, set of birds. We do mm -hmm. plan to get a lot more birds in the future. Chopper. I see him. Um, what is that? Okay. Oh, there's a worker. Oh, that's, I see what they did. Okay. They put a flag right there so they knew when to turn okay. in there. But we do plan to get a whole bunch more birds in the future. Um, this is just our starter flock to kind of get us going, especially with like egg prices and with just, just the way the things are going. We wanted to get ourselves started and set up with something. So um, that being said, this is not going to be our, our forever coop like no. for all of our birds. We, we do need a bigger coop and we are going to need a bigger run and, and all that. But this was offered to us. And it was, we knew it would be a quick build. We knew mm -hmm. that it was something that we could do with the kids. And um, it wouldn't take as much time and preparation and planning as what our larger coop is going to entail. So, Correct. Um, all that being said, we were like, you know what? We've heard of them before. They're making a, they're offering this to us just to, for free to try it. Why not? Bye bye, Speedy Gonzalez. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. That guy's in a hurry. Drive safe, bro. Please don't get in a wreck. 
Uh. Um, but yeah, so that's why we wanted to go ahead and get started with it. Um, we have had chickens in the past in Arizona. Yep. We've had, uh, we did it for a long time, you know, back then. It's just, this is our first set out here in Arkansas. Mm -hmm. And so they will have different needs out here than what they had um, in Arizona. But luckily for us, we do have Country Road Cure, who is just right up the hill, who's been having chickens for this last year. So they're kind of uh, familiar with this climate. Plus we have Jeff with Groovy yes. Eggs. Whenever we run into a jam or there's anything chicken related, Jeff is our go-to guy because he's known as the chicken master. Yep. And he like really earned that title. He is so knowledgeable when it comes to chickens. Yes. Um, so shameless plug to Groovy Eggs Farm. Go check out Jeff if you guys haven't checked him out. He is chicken master extraordinaire. Mm -hmm. So, um, but yeah, we do have plans to build a much bigger coop. And like Gary was starting to say, that's kind of why we haven't put in any of the fencing for underneath. Um, and trying kinda, to plan it all out and yeah. figure it out, which basically our plan is, is on the weekends, we're mm -hmm. going to be doing a lot of the garden work, the animal tier work, as well as the tree house that the kids really have been dying for. Yeah. Um, and uh, we're going to do that on the weekends. And then during the week, we're going to be working on the cabin. And doing odds and ends and, and stuff like what we're ends. doing right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's, that's kind of our plan. So we will be staking it down. Um, we will be making it more predator proof, but as of right now, we're just kind of keeping a really close eye on it. Yes. Um, we did have the kids go around the property and pick up a bunch of big rocks that they could find and they put rocks on the bottom um, yeah. near the outline of it, the perimeter of it. Yeah. And um, I mean, that, that seems to be working for now. And uh, with as many dogs and cats as we have, I know the chickens can bring rodents and stuff, but man, the cats, they feast on those rodents. Let me tell you what, we don't, we don't have any mice. We have no mice, zero mice with as many cats as we have running around. I have, no. I have not seen one except for the dead ones and the remnants of ones that the cats have feasted yeah. on. So, yeah. So we definitely have a, a lot to do over there in the animal area, especially as we progress and and get more animals and you know they need bigger space and stuff but this is a really great start and i'm really happy with it so far yeah yeah really, they're already know when to go inside the coop and, mm -hmm. and everything else like that i mean it's pretty pretty nice the first night it was uh trying to get them in there yeah the trying to corral night, them in go down there every single one of them was in there at night i was like sweet Just close, close the door <laughs> <laughs> and then every night ever since i mean it's been like that so yeah they're I, I love having chickens yeah and and jeff gave us some some really good trained chickens mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah. they're uh they're smart cookies that's and for sure. the kids are loving having them and that's like one of the first things that they do when they come home from school they run down there and mom can i go pet my chicken yeah go ahead go down there baby and they go sit down there and they play with the chickens yeah. and it's a it's really nice it's starting to uh to turn into a little humble homestead yeah and i like it i like it it gives me a lot of peace i like just going down there and watching them yeah you know if my brain feels like it's tied up in a knot or something i go down there and just sit yeah. with the chickens for a little while see what they have to say untangle my knot <laughs> it's pretty it's peaceful it is it's, it's peaceful. peaceful it's good stuff but we do have plans to make a, a much bigger run so they have more walkabout space yes um we do have plans to make a much larger coop and then this coop that we have um, is going to be used either as a grow out or we'll use it as our green mile for harvesting meat birds or you know babies or maybe when people are picking on each other if they need a timeout. Yeah. either way like that's not going to be it's going to be used and it's going to be utilized and um, again I'm so thankful that they reached out and they wanted to uh, let us try this out for now because mm -hmm. it got us it really put a fire underneath our butt like you know what let's let's just go ahead and let's get them let's pull the trigger yeah. on this let's do it because we've been talking about it and wanting it for a while but again we didn't want to take away a bunch of time um, yeah. you know planning and building a bigger uh, coop yeah. I'm gonna turn that way yeah. there we go we're getting into town now yeah so, um, we've got some plans today. I know I always, I'm a cautious driver, you know me. <laughs> Gary's always like, you're slow, you're this. I just drive safe, okay? I 
distracting. You know, there there is a thing called too cautious. I'm not is a being bad thing. I'm not being too <laughs> cautious, honey. There was like nobody on the road. <laughs> I'm a guy. I'm yeah, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pay attention to them. All right, let's go. But um, what was I going to say? That you're really excited that we have chickens. Well, and yeah, I already said that. And that you're really thankful that that, uh, <laughs> that company reached out and we yeah, were able to use that. And... For sure, I am. I'm very happy about that because um, it got us started, and yeah. that's what we needed. We needed a good push to to start. We did. You know? We did. And I'm happy and now, that we did. Now we can. Uh, make it a little bit bigger and yeah. work on it more yeah it's, this is the year this is our year so i'm really looking forward to it i know that uh you know we've got a lot to do but uh this is the year where a lot of things are going to start taking shape oh yeah a lot of things if not everything's going to start taking shape to where it's not might it might not be fully done but it everything will be taking starting shape. yeah taking much more shape than uh, what it had been well i mean think about it last year we didn't even have the tier system built yet no it, we we did were that last year. Yeah. Like <laughs> this time last year, it was still just a hill and a lot of uh, mess with materials. And we were in the trenches with the block. And yep. now we're upstairs on the platform doing mm -hmm. our thing. So we're going to have to, as soon as we get this, everything all squared away and everything else like that, we're going to have to start working on those decks here soon. I know. We are going to need to work on the deck for sure. I that mean, way we're, we can work safely. Yeah. <laughs> and having the back deck too, um, above like the patio area will be nice for when it does rain. Mm -hmm. So that way we're not, you know, because right now when it rains, it's, you can't. When it rains, it pours. Yeah, you know? and there's no real like space to go outside. We don't have any coverings or anything like that. So yeah. it'll be nice. We're working on it day by day, little by little, mm -hmm. little by little friends. That's how you, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. <laughs> I don't know how that would. That's how the uh, saying goes. No, I know. I know. There, there's the all these. There's all these weird sayings all, like it, cats in bags and beans spilling and elephants getting ate. You know. Yeah. <laughs> That's just like it always uh, makes you sit there and be like, how did that one become a I, saying? Or, I don't know. I don't know how half of the stuff comes about, but I just know that you know, like parrots, we repeat it. So. No, I know. But we got to where we needed to get to today, guys. We're sitting here. We're parked. We got to run. Um, but I will, with everything on our plate, I should be able to finish out the uh, the edit so you guys can finally see what we got going on upstairs um, and all the work that we got done earlier on the week. And we're going to keep pressing forward with it. We got a lot more to share with you guys. So yes. we are going to call it for today's video. Wish us luck that we can handle all this business and... Uh, get videos edited and Gary can get all the prep work done and we can just keep going keep it rolling yeah keep it rolling and I wish you guys a very wonderful productive happy happy days yes so until the next one guys we love y'all and we hope you have a good one and we'll catch you on the next one bye you guys later later boop 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 boop